All right, welcome back everyone. I'm Tony DiBernardo, your host, and to be honest, I was a little, I was initially a little skeptical about doing an episode on AI and its prevalence in e-commerce, once again, being totally transparent. As a podcast host, you want to obviously cover topics that you're passionate about, right? But not at the risk of turning off listeners like you with topics that you don't really care about. For instance, uh, last year, there was a ton of hype around the metaverse. And sure, we did a couple episodes asking, should you accept Bitcoin as payment? And should my company enter the metaverse? Things like that. And those were, you know, short, tasteful episodes. Uh, we didn't dive in too much into it because one, uh, we expected that that wave would die down and it did. Most of the metaverse building to be done will be done kind of behind the scenes until things really become public. So we felt good about leaving it at that. But two, metaverse e-commerce just isn't relevant for you right now, right? So that brings us back to AI. Is artificial intelligence just another fad? Did it only explode because we all paid, I don't know, eight bucks to have our face on a sci-fi character and then we heard stories about how high schoolers were using chat GPT to write essays for them? Is that it? Is it done? Is the hype over before it's even arrived at the e-commerce industry? The short answer is no. AI is here to stay and today I'll prove to you that it'll be more valuable than you think. Now, I'm not telling you to bet the farm on it, but these subtle stories coming out and news from Shopify confirm its validity as a strategy to be planned around. Now, here's what I mean. You heard me say last week that Shopify is releasing something called Shopify Magic this year. Basically, if you provide the keywords, it will write a perfectly crafted product description for you. Is this revolutionary? Not really. Will it help? Yeah, totally. But the next step up from that comes from Shopify audiences. Now, this kind of slipped under the rug uh, and a lot of, under a lot of people's radar because it's only available on Shopify Plus, which is currently sitting at about like $2,000 a month. But I'm talking about its importance in the landscape of AI and e-commerce. I'm not convincing you to upgrade, so just hear me out here. Shopify Audiences uses AI to get your ads in front of the right buyers with custom audience lists. And if you aren't familiar with custom audiences, uh, back with Facebook or Meta, you tell them, I want you to find 500 people who are, for example, females age 35 to 55 who own small dogs and wear yoga pants for leisure. I don't know, super random. But Facebook ads would then put together a list of Facebook users for your ad to target. And that is a custom audiences. But now we have many more limitations to advertising than we ever did before. The new iOS updates block Google and Meta from collecting more personalized data about our customers, which raises the cost per acquisition it makes it harder for us to find the right customer. And basically it kind of it kind of removes them as being options for smaller stores. And you don't have a lot of flexibility with targeting and audiences in Meta anymore. But Shopify is standing here in this corner weighing the equivalent of all of the data it's collected from every purchase of every customer in its history. And it gives you a ton of flexibility for how you want to separate and target different audiences. And it's all built on artificial intelligence to get your ad from your business because Shopify knows everything about your business and it gets your ad to the right buyer because it knows the exact purchase behavior of every buyer. Now, a couple of examples. With Shopify audiences, apparel brand Jonathan Simkai saw an 84% higher conversion rate and a 54% lower cost per acquisition. And in that campaign, 89% of the new customer acquisition was attributed to audiences, the AI tool. It's also helped Bush Bomb to increase their click-through rate by 42% with their purchase rate soaring by 120%. Haya increased their conversion rate by 158% with Shopify audiences and their cost per acquisition decreased by 35% with the return on ad spend skyrocketing by 172%. And I know this, once again, it sounds like an advertisement for Shopify Plus, just like last week, I promise it's not. But the point is, don't let the term AI or artificial intelligence turn you off when it comes to advertising and growing your store. Yes, we can talk about iRobot, we can talk about Neuralink, we can talk about how this might be a slippery slope to robots taking over the world. Total cyborg domination will not stem from you trying to raise your conversion rates by 40%, I promise. Okay, you can check with me on that. But let's move on. I actually, I have one more example. This one was cool. Mars Pet Care, which is a pet care company, decided to double down on e-commerce over the pandemic, just like we all did. And they realized that they didn't really know what types of product images 
people reacted well to, or rather that drew people to purchase, right? So they use this AI software, which I'll leave out the name because I haven't personally vetted it yet, but uh, the link to this article is in the show notes if you wanna check it out. But they fed a bunch of product images into this AI's database and it produced a score on a scale of zero to 100. Now the higher the rating, the more appealing an image is to the group of online consumers. And what did they find? From May to October of 2022, images with a score of 60 to 70% achieved 30% higher conversion. This AI technology wasn't harming anyone. It took knowledge stored in its database that was publicly available, and it used it to help a store owner pick the most effective product images. Now, one choice just led to a 30% higher conversion rate. So this year, maybe find a way to budget $67 a day for Shopify Plus eventually, or read into new tools and apps leveraging AI because you just might be the next case study of that store that skyrocketed your sales with the help of artificial intelligence, or even worse, all of your competitors will start using it and possibly leave you in the dust. Well, okay, that ended on a sadder note than I anticipated, but uh, you get the point, okay? <laughs> But that's all I got. That starts our conversation on AI and e-commerce. Thanks for listening to this show. Now, if you liked this episode or you like the show in general, please consider leaving a five-star review on Apple Podcasts. This helps more people find the show. And with that, you'd be supporting our mission to help more e-commerce store owners around the globe grow their businesses. So with that, thank you. You can find us on YouTube at The Privy Channel, Instagram at Ecom Marketing School, and me on Twitter at Tony from the Pod. See you next time. Bye.